I keep thinking like I could go into this picture. Like I could say, Marietta Brewery. That's a brewery, right? I don't know. I have never been to a gay dance club, but I have been to the Abercrombie and Fitch store. Yeah. <laughs> expensive clothes, or the techno music, or the huge murals depicting shirtless guys climbing the rocks for no reason, or the chandeliers made of cocks, like, I don't know. By the way, by the way, I'm all for gay marriage, by the way. I, you're gay, you want to get married? Go ahead. But I am against gay divorce. I put my foot down. We must protect the sanctity of divorce in this country. And no one does it better than straight people, okay? We got that shit down. We start letting gay people get divorced, pretty soon we're gonna start letting dogs and cats get divorced. And that, that is crazy. So I'm a bit of a, a, a word nerd. I like it when people use the wrong word for something. Like you can tell the word they're going for, but they get it wrong, right? <laughs> I saw this guy on stage one time, he was talking about, talking about bedwetting, and he goes, dude, when I was a kid, I was an avid bedwetter. <laughs> no big deal. I think what he meant to say was I was a constant bedwetter, or habitual bedwetter. But when you say that you're an avid bedwetter, also into it. You are a aficionado of the bedwetter. That is probably not what you meant to say. Unless it is what you meant to say. I was at bedwetting coming along. I gotta be honest, man, I wasn't into it at first, but I really started to warm up to it. I asked this one girl, I said, what kind of sense of humor would you say that you have? And she goes, See, I think I have a real self-defecating sense of humor. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Wanna hear a joke? No. <laughs> Not here. Not now. You keep that shit to yourself. I saw a guy, another guy on stage, he's like, he's talking about chicks and dating and hooking up and stuff. He goes, dude, I had a raving hard on. He did not say raging hard on, he said waving. If, hard, if you have a raving hard on, you have one of two things. You either have a hard on that, that yells shit angrily, like, I'm full of blood down here. You got a hard on that stays out till seven in the morning. Get to the techno. Flipping glow sticks. The Abercrombie and Fitch I was like, really hard on Trudy. I don't know, man. I haven't seen him in 12 hours. I am worried sick. I think strippers nowadays are getting younger and younger. Uh, just last week, I went to a lap dance recital, and I, I think <laughs> it's too young. I don't know where. <laughs> well, gee, sir, I haven't thought the joke out that far. <laughs> and you get to talking about a movie that you've seen and uh, you got a nice little discussion about it and there's always that one guy in the group who has not seen the movie yet and he's always like, blah, blah, blah. don't talk about the movie. Don't spoil the movie. Blah, blah, blah. 
That is frustrating. I'm going to start doing that the next time someone tries to talk to me about the Bible. <laughs> Unexpectedly religious on you out of nowhere. Well, you know what Jesus says in the Bible? No, 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 man, don't tell me. No, 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 no. I have it, I bought it, it's at home. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. It's a murder mystery, right? Jesus is a sleuth for his big dinner scene. Someone dies, or did he? No. Don't spoil the ending. Let me leave you with this last last bit. I uh, I like watching movies with titles like How She Move and He Got Game. Right? She hate me, baby mama. Yeah, these are the top. Take how she moves. For example, if you call that movie how she moves, you're not going to get nearly as, as much business, right? You can't get the kids in the theater. But you take that, take the S off and screw it up a little bit. Call it how she moves, and you've got something. So I came up with a list of popular movie titles. You can do the same things with, make it more marketable. Movies like As Good as It Get. <laughs> Most kids are not busted down the door to see a Helen Hunt Jack Nicholson comedy, but maybe they would if you called it as good as it can get. A river run through it. I got 40 more. Mr. Smith, go to Washington. Superman Return, Batman Begin. That's one movie. I be legend. I heard that's what Will Smith wanted to call it anyway. Three hundred. Horror movies now. Twenty eight day later. The Hills got eyes. Jaw. Jaw is a horror movie, but it's not about a shark. It's about this girl who won't shut the hell up. Uh, comedies now, what women's want, or what women wants. Oh, women's want, what? How do you flip that around? So I married an ask murderer. Now, Bambiage. <laughs> Mary Poppin. <laughs> and winning the shit. <laughs>